Good afternoon, everyone. It is David Schlothauer here in the Home Weather Office for May 22nd, 2023, with another detailed U.S. weather forecast as we are going to be seeing a huge warm-up across the northern plains, including for Canada. Now, if you are new to the channel and you really like these detailed weather forecasts and updates, please consider subscribing if you're new, hitting the like button if you like today's video, and also share this video with your family family and friends on social media. So as always, here's a look at the current weather conditions happening right now across the United States for May the 22nd, 2023. We're going to actually take a look at the southeast first because there is quite a bit of rainfall, strong winds, thunderstorms, that sort of thing that is going on. So if you're in Gainesville on the I-75 corridor, you're looking at moderate to heavy rainfall, some gusty winds. We're also looking at some heavy rainfall and gusty winds over Valdosa in southern Georgia on I-75. We're seeing some of those storms pop up along that outflow boundary, extending across southeastern Alabama into western panhandle of Florida, and we're already starting to see some pop-up storms across central Florida like Orlando on um, State Route 4 there, on I-95 along the uh, east coast of Florida there, some storms popping up there already near Port Charlotte, Sarasota, and Tampa, Florida, Cape Corral, as well seeing some of those storms. Now, we've been watching the monsoon each afternoon, and it is here to stay for a few more days over the four corners where we do have showers and thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon hours, especially on I-70 here, Grand Junction, Glenwood Springs. If you're in uh, Farmington, there in the northwestern portion of um, Albuquerque of New Mexico, Santa Fe, we are seeing storms pop up there. Some of these storms are capable of producing um, dust storms. We can be seeing haboobs with these and even some small hail associated with these storms so keep that in mind sunny skies in the morning turn stormy in the afternoon and just a reminder the air quality is also not very good too because of all those fires burning in Canada, which might get worse before they get better. Here's a look at the Pacific Northwest really quickly a trough digging down from the Pacific Northwest into Oregon, Washington, Montana, bringing cooler temperatures. In fact, temperatures are in the upper 60s, low 70s versus in the 80s and 90s that you had a, about four or five days ago. So some much colder air is here to stay for a while. And that's a look at your current weather conditions. Let's take a look now at your weather models. Now looking at the European model for Monday afternoon, May the 22nd, 2023, we can see where our storms currently are in the southeastern United States. We got the monsoon going on across the high plains and the four corners here. This is where the monsoon has been for over a week, and it's going to be here for probably a few more days before the pattern looks to change and might shove some of that moisture towards the north and a little bit into the northern plains, bringing the chances there of more showers and thunderstorms. So let's roll this forward now into Tuesday afternoon, where we can see, again, more showers, more thunderstorms down here across Florida, southern Georgia. So again, just be aware of that. If you're doing anything outdoors, if you're watering the flowers, if you're taking a walk, just be aware you're gonna see these storms pop up every afternoon the sun angle is high the ground heats up the air destabilizes you get convection and you get these storms that pop up so just be aware of that if you're doing anything outdoors uh, bright mornings turn stormy in the afternoon very similar to the monsoon in fact the same thing will happen especially if you're in nevada if you're in utah colorado northern new mexico if you're in wyoming montana morning blue skies sunny turning stormy in the afternoon with billowing building clouds for uh, due to the daytime heating we got some showers that should help these fires out quite well if you are in say british columbia if you're in um if you're in alberta canada 
Again, some showers there if you're in Saskatchewan. A nice, good cold front sweeping through should bring in some cooler air in the wake of that Arctic high pressure system there to follow. We got some snow this time of the year in the northern portion there of Ontario and Quebec, Canada. But otherwise, the weather is looking pretty good. It's not going to be so much the storms that we're going to have to worry at about over the next several days it's going to be those temperatures we're going to be seeing some very hot temperatures so you can see here for the high plains uh, more storms popping up in the afternoon maybe some severe weather large hail strong wind gusts maybe a funnel cloud or two cannot be ruled out with shower chances there for the pacific northwest this continues all the way into saturday morning saturday afternoon may the 27th 2023 with more showers there for the eastern seaboard for portions of the again the high plains gonna see repeated thunderstorm activity each afternoon with again a marginal to slight risk for severe weather each and every day for the pacific northwest for the northern rockies you have shower and thunderstorm chances each afternoon not so much though for the sierras for california for nevada for arizona or say new mexico the monsoon moisture goes further north with time and then by the time we go into sunday uh may the 28th shower chances do continue and that could last all the way through monday next week uh, especially for the high plains this is where we really need the rain very very badly and you're going to get more of that so hopefully this will improve the drought situation in uh in kansas in um say western oklahoma and texas been through a lot already with exceptional and extreme drought there so that will be welcoming news to hear but what's not welcoming news is going to be those temperatures It'd be very warm I'm talking about a big warm-up across the northern tier of the united states if you are in say southern and central canada going to be very warm days to come well above average temperatures and you'll see that reflected in our uh, temperature anomaly forecast so for tomorrow temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 80s up here so very warm weather we're also talking about really warm weather if you are in the deep south if you're in southern texas even if you are in arizona looking at some warm weather but not too bad if you're in arizona versus if you're up there in the northern tier of the united states cooler for canada thanks to that cold front that's going to be impacting the area but that's going to kind of get whisked away um slowly but surely by wednesday really warm weather continues this goes all the way into thursday a little cooler there for say alberta canada british and um if you're in uh manitoba Canada also going to see some cooler temperatures, but it won't be long before the heat wave returns again with vengeance. This is by Friday. This is by Saturday. Look at these temperatures up here. I mean, temperatures in the upper 80s, low 90s this time of the year. That is pretty significant if you ask me temperatures here in the low to mid 80s across the high plains, the northern and the deep south. Um, and this continues all the way into Sunday and even into Monday. Look how warm these temperatures get. I mean, that's a huge temperature gradient difference between Hudson Bay in the 30s and 40s versus the mid to upper 80s, low 90s over Manitoba, Canada. Yeah, it's going to be really warm there. Get ready for it, all right? That's a look at your temperature forecast. Now, let's take a look at your temperature anomaly forecast, shall we? So this is a look at the European model for days one through six. This is the five-day average temperature anomaly. This is not each day. This is a blend of many days that we put together to make an average. So on average, days one through six will have temperatures anywhere between five to 10 degrees above normal across the northern tier of the United States, like the Dakotas. Canada is going to be really warm. This can continue into days three and eight. Look at this. Temperatures all up here in Canada, anywhere between 10 to maybe 15 degrees above the long-term average. That's ridiculous. And then going all the way out to days five through 10, temperatures up here could be as much as 15 to 25 degrees above above normal that's in northern saskatchewan northern manitoba very warm well above average for this time of the year so the concern here is we could have more wildfires that could start and that those can lose control we also have warmer than normal temperatures across the midwest but cooler than normal across the deep south the southeast and even across the west it's all about canada going to see some very warm temperatures for this time of the year 
The reason why is, well, if we take this forward, we have this large scale ridge pattern over the next five days that's going to be building in across Canada with trophy weather that's going to be in place across the desert southwest, including for California, the deep south and the southeast. That is followed usually by wetter than normal conditions or cooler than normal conditions um, area wide. And that's going to continue possibly through the next 10 days. The pattern doesn't look to change. So therefore, expect a pretty ferocious heat wave for Canadian standards that are not used to it this time of the year, including for the northern tier of the United States. Well, that's going to do it with today's detailed weather forecast for May the 22nd, 2023. I hope this video helped you out a lot and get prepared for what's to come. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Monday. I know some of you are having a great time swimming in the pools with these nice warm temperatures. Some of you are just going to work or just staying at home watching TV. But either way you put it, I hope this video helped you out a lot. Share, like, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll be back with you more tomorrow evening with another U.S. weather forecast. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching.